Hey everyone, uh, I am back with another pressing technique video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, but this is something fairly new um, I, I came across. It's, it's also definitely a very modern problem uh, for, for modern books. And that is centered around your, uh, specifically for modern Marvel books, the digital code. Uh, so, all modern books now, Marvel books now, have this digital code with a sticker that's applied to it, where you peel the sticker off and there's a code where you can get a digital version of that same book. So, what happens if you have a book that um, is or becomes a, a key of some sort, of some value, and it doesn't have this digital code? And let's say you want to send it in to get graded or something like that. And you, you want to make sure it comes back as being complete and has everything with it, including this digital sticker. What could be done? Is all lost? Uh, well, no. Fortunately, it is not. Uh, this digital sticker can actually be reattached once it has been removed. So I'm going to remove this. Uh, the digital code under here has... has not been claimed, so if whoever wants it, sees it first, can go ahead and claim it. Uh, I don't do digital, so I don't really care, and this isn't a book of any import. Uh, it's uh, Conan 13, um, I believe. So, oh no, what have I done? Sticker removed. Ugh. Oh no, oh no. It's not sticky anymore. As soon as I remove it, it's not sticky. So I can't just lift it, check out my code, or put it back on. Or if I get a book that has it removed, uh, what you know, what what can I do? Well, it turns out that the glue that sticks this to the code is still on the sticker. It's just inactive. Uh, it's a special kind of glue that is heat activated, uh, and when heat is applied to it it becomes sticky, and when it cools down, it is no longer sticky, but it is adhered to whatever it was up against when it was heated. So we can use this fact to reattach our stickers to our digital codes. Now when doing this, be careful. Um, you know, if, if you have the sticker that was originally attached, that's great. If you don't have the sticker, you're still okay. You can grab the same sticker off of a different book. But again, be careful, there are different kinds of stickers. You wanna make sure you grab a sticker that is off a book from the same month, just, just to be safe. Uh, but there are, I think, three kinds of stickers. One is obviously different, as it's a lot bigger. I think in the, in the early years of their, their digital stickers, they were larger. Uh, but for this size, which is the most um, the most common nowadays to see nowadays and what they use what they use today, there are actually a couple versions of it. So you want to make sure that you're attaching the same kind of sticker, so it's not super obvious that you've you've swapped stickers. Uh, but if you don't have it, find a book you know in a dollar bin or or whatever or out of your your own collection from a book that you don't really care about not having a sticker. Take that sticker off, and you can apply it. So how do we do this? All right, so we need to be able to heat this. Um, I don't want to just throw it in a press. I, I want to be able to apply heat fairly directly to the sticker itself. So closing this, like trying to adjust this and closing it and putting the press is not going to be good enough. Uh, we want to apply heat directly. So we pull out our handy dandy tack iron. Um, now we don't want to apply it directly directly you know I, I don't want to apply my tack iron directly to the sticker and to the book itself so what I use is parchment paper the same kind of parchment paper you use for your normal pressing um, I double it up just to be safe and use that as a buffer between the sticker and page and the tack iron uh, also, to make sure we, we're getting enough pressure on the sticker itself, uh, I've, I've put a board underneath the, the page that uh, the sticker is on. 
just so it's it's I'm not trying to press it into other pages uh, it has a little firmer um, backing to it so the trickiest part of this aside from getting a sticker uh, is to line this up right I don't I don't want this to be I don't want it to be super obvious that this isn't the original sticker or the original placement of it. The code itself actually is on a sticker as well. One well, that's not meant to be removed, uh, but it matches the size and shape of the sticker you remove. So you just need to make sure that those things are as lined up as possible. All the way around. Uh, that looks pretty good. So I, I don't see anything of the sticker underneath popping out anywhere. Uh, and since they're the same size, that means it's it's right on top. Uh, now, as you do this, you, you'll want to check on it. One, to make sure if it's attached, and two, to make sure it hasn't shifted at all um, as you've been working on it. Um, so I'm going to... I'm keeping my finger on it now to keep it in place. Then with the paper on it, I will transfer over and now I'm keeping it in place above here. So I know that it is in the same place as it was uh, before I placed the paper on it. Um, now for the tacking iron, what heat to use? Well, for our modern books, we usually, we start, we, you know, depending upon area, humidity and all that, the, the general rules around 145 degrees. So I, I start, um, you know, what would be well, maybe a little bit less than that. And then I just check on it. And if it's not sticking properly, I slowly increase the heat uh, until the job is done. So I'm going to keep holding on to it until I've started applying at least a little bit of heat. And you're going to want to put some pressure on it. Um, but this is, I mean, this is basically it. Uh, you get a replacement sticker, or, or if you have the sticker, you line it up, you cover it with your parchment paper, and you heat the glue back up to get it to stick. Uh, I've, I've done this a couple times. Uh, I've never had any problems. Um, I've, I've um, well, I'll, I'll say this. So, what does this count as, right? Does, does this count as restoration? Well, I mean, you know, there's a difference between like, you know, cleaning and pressing and restoration. Cleaning and pressing is, is removing things, right? You're removing dirt. Restoration is adding things. You're adding color. You're adding a staple. You're adding pages. You're adding parts of pages and so on. That's obviously restoration. This is very clearly additive. To, there was the, the book at one point was something without a sticker, and now I'm putting a sticker on it. So is it restoration? I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, should or shouldn't you do this? I, I am not here to answer those questions. That is um, up, to, you know, I, I don't know if the community as a whole has decided on that. Um, you know, I, I'm not trying to be deceitful anyway with, with you know, with, with doing this to this book. Uh, I, you know, this is a, you know, a nothing book. I'm not planning on like selling it or anything. It's staying in my collection. It's not worth anything. It's just going to be part of my, my collection. Um, so I'm not here to answer the question of whether you should or shouldn't do this. Uh, I, I am just being informative on that. This letting you know this can be done, not whether it should be done. Uh, let's see. Things look still even. Uh, corner is still lifted a little bit. So I'm going to increase the heat just a little bit and a little more pressure. Um, but uh, I, again, I'm, I'm not saying you should or shouldn't do this. This is just purely for information. Uh, again, is, is it or isn't restoration? I, I will say this. Um, after I've done, e even if this is restoration, after this is done, prove to me that the sticker was removed at one point. <laughs> I mean, you know, with things like color touch-ups, like you put something under a black light, yeah, I can see that this was restored. It's a restored book. 
Uh, there is no way to tell that this sticker was at one point removed uh, other than removing the sticker again and seeing if the code was reclaimed. If the code was reclaimed. But, you know, you're not going to do that, right? Because then you've <laughs> removed the, the sticker. Um, but again, if, if this is something that's not for you, if you think personally that this is, uh, um, you know, not something that should be done, then don't do it. It's fine. And I'm, I'm not here to judge either way. Uh, the, the times that I have done this have been for customers um, and, you know, what, what, they, what they do with it is up to them. Uh, it, it is a service that, that I provide. Um, and again, I'm just being informative here. pretty good so as you notice like the the page is curling up a little bit because I've applied direct heat to this page so after this is done this will need to be fully pressed you know even if it's on the outside the front and the back it looks beautiful it's been pressed before after doing this you want to press it so if if you want to do this and press make sure you do this part first because this will need to be pressed to be reflattened. Um, but everything looks pretty even and uh, code reattached. Not falling off or anything because the, the, the glue has been reactivated and it's stuck on there. So just just as it was originally. Um, so that is it. Uh, I hope this was uh, informative. Um, please check out my other uh, pressing and cleaning technique videos. And if you have any uh, questions about this, any of the other videos I've posted, or if you have an, an idea for something else you'd like to, to have demonstrated uh, in a video, please, please let me know. Um, I, I I like doing these, but there's only so many things I can do, right? And once I've done it, I've done it. Uh, so you can look in the, my, my back catalog of videos and see what other pressing matters uh, videos I've made with those sort of techniques. Um, and if, yeah, if you have any other ideas, please let me know, and I'm more than happy to uh, explore those and do a video on them. So please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, most importantly, don't forget to uh, make yours tighten. Later. This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.